Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuvidus channel and today we look into how to overwrite packages, why would you do that and how it works in all the package managers. Here we go. Okay, before we get started with the content, a tiny announcement that some of you might have seen already. Uh, I've taken a job at uh, Void Zero, over there it is. Uh, as a DevRel uh, and uh, doing that for a little bit, there will be an extra video. So if you have any questions, drop them either down in this video, on the post, on the community notes, or obviously in, in social media, and I'll make uh, an extra video about that. So let's focus on the content. And you and I might wonder, okay, we already learned how to patch packages in the previous video. I hope you've seen that because that's also really relevant. So why should we override things now? And actually, there are a couple of use cases that are interesting. Whenever people mention, okay, there is a bug and it might not reproduce if you pin a certain package to a version, like here on Vite to version 5, or basically saying mm, maybe a new version of a package has introduced a bug and, well, you can just override it to make it work as before, then these are valid options. And whenever people say that, they mean exactly that. You should take packages and override them with a different version or maybe even a different package after all, which we'll see in a bit. But still you might wonder, why should you do that? And a great example is, of course, our minimal Nuxt application to test this thing out. Of course, the whole thing works with any kind of uh, application, but this is always a great example because with frameworks, you have a lot of packages under the hood, right? So in here, you could say, okay, I can change my Nuxt version, I can change my view version or the view router version. But what if someone said, oh yeah, there is a bug in the current Vite version, so you might have to downgrade or upgrade that if the underlying dependency, for example, pins that for whatever reason. So there are a couple of options there, but how would you do that? So the first intuition you might have is just adding, for example, V here to the package list and saying, I don't know, I want version 5.1.0 or something like that. And you might think, okay, that, that could be it, but not really, because of course now then you add it to a list of dependencies, but other packages, other sub-dependencies and sub-sub-sub-dependencies, they might require a different version of feeds. So then you end up with two versions and have trouble. Instead, let's take a look what we can actually do. So first thing, of course, removing this part again, and then we open our console and use pnpmyvite. Um, of course, it also works with other package managers. And here we see why exactly vite is installed in our lovely project. So we see, of course, Nux is requiring that, the dev toolkit, this there, peer dependencies of Vite here and there, but also Vite is actually required by, for example, the Vite builder. Kind of makes sense, right? So if we say we want to set all of them to a certain, a certain version, what we can do is using overrides or resolutions. And this is, of course, where, once again, other package managers come into play. Because depending on your package manager, you have to handle things differently. So let's go through the package managers step by step and see how we can do it. Luckily, it's quite similar, so there's no huge difference in most of the cases, but just a tiny change in your package JSON. Let's start with npm, it's probably the easiest, and here we just add an overrides key uh, and then define, for example, vid to say we want version 5.1.0. And that's basically all. Also, of course, there are the hints about that, and that should work straight away. Now, we don't jump to yarn or pnpm straight away, but we stay with bun simply because it will just do the same. There is no extra key needed. It will also just work with the overrides in your package JSON. For yarn, you have to rename overrides to resolutions because, well, these are called yarn resolutions there and not overrides necessarily. Of course, there are also docs on that, and the link is as usual in the description. And last but not least, we come to pnpm, where we use the overrides key again, but it is not top level, but in an pnpm settings field. So we wrap this in pnpm and have the overrides and we're good. Now, in all cases, when you do this, you want to do the following. After updating your package JSON, make sure to reinstall dependencies because, well, otherwise, how should that magical version will actually come across there? Okay, and that's actually all you have to do. We set it up here and now we run pnpm yv once again and see, oh, okay, the version actually changed to 5.1.0. And of course, usually you shouldn't downgrade a major version, but sometimes there are some bugs and especially from v5 to 6, there was an issue in Nux that I've shown you earlier on that was easily circumvented by just downgrading because there were no breaking changes even. Great news, right? So that's awesome, of course, for other versions or like, hey, there was a patch I'd want to downgrade. So there is a bug that was introduced in the patch or similar that won't affect me anymore. They're all valid. But there's even another case we can try out. 
And for the next example, we stick to Veed. Well, to be more precise, we use roll down Veed, right? It's a work in progress version of Veed together with that Rust based roll down bundler over here, which replaces roll up and the S build uh, in the Veed setup. So it is basically a temporary package that you can use to try out roll down the integration. And to do this, well, as we said before, you cannot only bump versions, you can even say, okay, I want to replace a package with another one. That can be also very useful if there is like um, another fork with a fix or like a temporary package you maybe released yourself. In the case of Roldan V, there will be a package available, but at the time of recording, we use another tool, which quite some open source projects already implemented. So um, that one is called package.pr.new, right? It's under the StackBlitz umbrella. Uh, and it's pretty amazing because basically you can say, okay, every single commit is a continuous release and you can just add them or also use them to override uh, packages. So you don't have to say, oh, when is this PR coming out? I have to wait. No, not at all. The only downside, of course, um, people have to enable that maintainers of the repository so that doesn't work with every single repository. But with a huge amount that works, it's also great to just test uh, fixes for bugs, of course. So uh, definitely try to use that and don't necessarily wait for a new version if there is something like, oh yeah, we fixed an issue can try it out straight away and we'll take a look how that works now. The first thing we want to do is grabbing the latest commit hash here over here. So FA3C494, that should be enough. Then we go back into our code and make sure, okay, we want to use roll down uh, Vite here more or less. But of course it's not available um, right now or like at least not the newest version. There are some releases already. And when you see the video, this might be the better option. But at the moment, we do the following. In here, we put the URL, so we have the hash, and then we need to use the package.pr.new.url, which is the following. You basically have package.pr.new, repository owner organization, repository name, at, and then we have the commit hash here. Of course, that only works if it's enabled, but in this case, it hopefully is. So what we do right now is, once again, we run dev. We didn't update the dependencies yet, right? So this is 3.16 with uh, even we well, we'd five as we did it before. And okay, things are fine, that all works. Now we do pnpmi and resolve the new packages. So also the override. And we will see, okay, there are some unmet peer dependencies. We kind of expect that because, well, we don't set necessarily a version. We just say, okay, this is, this is the version now, the URL, but it's all fine um, because it's drop and replacement. Now we're on pnpm dev. And what we will see is we have a warning here. You've set optimized apps.es build options. Well, Nux did, but this option is now deprecated. Veed now uses rolldown to optimize the dependencies. Please use optimized apps.rollup options instead. So that means here is our indicator that this is actually the build working with rolldown right now. Right? And now we can just have a look in a browser. Let's see what we see. And here we go, we have the test page on localhost 3000, available, built with Nuxt, and, uh, well, roll down as well. So, what's the TLDR here? Well, pretty simple. If you need to override packages, for example, oh, there was a bug introduced in the latest version, you don't have control over it because it's a dependency of dependency, or you might have a drop-in package as a replacement that you want to use, well, overrides are definitely a way to go. Whenever someone now says, oh yeah, just pin your version, this and there, or just override, you know exactly how to do that, no matter which package manager you use. And well, you can also now try out roll down beat. Pretty amazing, right? Any questions? As usual, drop them down below in the comments. Stay tuned for the next videos on the channel and see you soon. Happy hacking.